Hello, hi, welcome to your hour, Matt Pilates. Hello, if we have never met before, I am Dom. A little change of scenery today, which is really exciting. I um, am up at a cottage, so you might hear some birds chirping, some waves splashing, um, and I mean, it's pretty It's pretty cool. If you were turned around, you'd be able to see the lake like I can. It's, it's really nice, it's really nice. As per always, I do my best to give a bit of a blueprint for how we're working together. So your body is your body. Please feel free to make modifications in whatever way makes sense for you. And I do my best to make sure that I give you as many as I can. Um, I think that's everything. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me as long as they are nice things. Um, but I know we're all good people here. So I'm not worried about that. Let's head on to the cross-legged seating. So I already know that this shape is maybe not the most comfortable for everybody. If you have any pillows or cushions close by, you can always lift them up underneath your seat. So it's gonna let your hips come higher than your knees, which will open up through, um, through your thighs a little bit more. We're gonna take an inhale to sit up nice and tall, and then as we exhale, we're gonna nod our nose, nod our chins, drawing our chin into our chest, and just starting to walk those hands forward in space for a bit of a stretch here, taking a breath in and out. And then using those hands to walk yourself back up, sitting up nice and tall. Let's flip our feet the other way, inhaling up nice and tall. And then as we exhale, nodding our chin into our chest and we're trying to scoop and hollow through our bellies as we go here. So. It's not a passive forward fold. We're trying to draw back with our pelvis. So pelvis draws back, torso draws forward. We're round here, taking some inhales through the nose, exhaling it out through the mouth. Not worrying about a Pilates breath necessarily just yet, but knowing that it is coming. One more breath in here. And then again, using those hands to guide you back up to center. Let's keep the left leg crossed in front. Inhaling up tall here. And then exhaling to nod your nose, nod your chin. Starting to walk your hands forward. Again, you're hollowing back. So it's as if someone's behind you and they're pulling your hips back in space. And then let's walk those hands over to the right. So hands go to the right, left leg is in front, still scooping and hollowing through the belly. Left hip draws back, taking a breath in, taking a breath out to feel space through the side of the left body. But it's important to stay active here. Yeah, that constant drawing back. Walking those hands. Actually, let's keep walking the hands all the way over to the right. Plant your right hand down, rotate your torso up so you're in a side bend. Isn't that a fun little trick? And then let's bring ourselves all the way up, give those shoulders a little roll, and we'll switch to the other side. So right leg is in front. Last one here, we're again nodding nose, nodding chin, so hollowing out through the back of the cervical spine as you roll down, hollowing like a big ice cream scoop through the belly. So again, it's like hands are at your pelvis as they're drawing you backwards, arms are reaching forwards. Taking a few breaths here. And then walking your hands this time over to the left. So right leg is in front, we're hollowed through that belly, right hip draws back. Noticing how this feels on this side. Maybe it feels amazing, maybe it doesn't. But trying to avoid labeling parts of our body as our good side and our bad side. And then continue your journey around to the left. Left hand plants on the floor, rotate your body up sideways. And then come all the way up to center, give your shoulders a little roll, give your head a little nuzzle. So any props if you want them, you're welcome to grab hand weights if you have them at home. You're welcome to grab any blankets or pillows, cushions, all those things to um, allow your head or your hips if they get a little cranky on the floor to be a little more comfortable. We're gonna start side lying today. So you're gonna come all the way down. I'm lying on my left arm. I'm gonna take my top hand into my top hip and if I was being pretty passive, I would collapse my bottom waist down towards the floor. But we're not gonna be passive because we're doing Pilates, so we're gonna take our breath in. And then as we breathe out, can we push that hip away, that top hip away? So we have a little bit um, of an awareness of that underside of your waist. It might not be lifted off the floor, that's fine. We just wanna make sure that there's a little bit of tension there through those obliques. We're gonna take our knees, so the knees come right out from the hip, and then our ankles come right underneath our knees. Take a breath in through through the nose. 
Let's exhale it out through the mouth, sliding those ribs in, opening up through the tailbone behind you. Now we're gonna keep the leg pretty parallel. So inhaling here, and then as we exhale, let's lift that leg up. Now if I were to shoot my bottom leg out of the way, this leg is like just lifted up to parallel. It lowers down and then lifts up just to parallel. So we're not going in that full, full leg range here. It taps the bottom and then it lifts up. So we want to imagine like we have a huge like dinner platter plate that goes from our knee to our ankle to our hip and we're trying to lift that whole dinner platter plate up. Ooh, dinner platter plate. Found myself a little tongue twister there. Lifting it up. So instead of the energy being like we're throwing it behind us, it's like we're trying to lift it up to the ceiling. Down. Now the whole time that we're here, we're trying to draw into those ribs, lengthen out through that tailbone, connect in through the low belly. So the foundations of what our core does for us when we're working specifically in, in the core, they're happening here too, right? That's sort of the fun thing about Pilates is everything's happening all the time. Little bits of housekeeping, last little bit. We wanna make sure that our jaw and our shoulders aren't super, super tense here. That top hand can be gently in front of you. We're gonna give it a job in a second. We have five more of these leg raises for five. You wanna keep anchoring your tailbone like you're spreading tail feathers out behind you for, but we wanna keep the low belly in. So that's the trick. It's like you're finding the sweet spot, three, where you get to experience both. Let's go for two. One more time, you're gonna lift that leg up and then hold. This is the super, well, there's lots of super fun parts. This is super fun part, part one. So we're gonna hold that leg up. That's right, we're gonna hold it there. Your top arm is gonna come in beside you. You're gonna squeeze your arm into a fist and like really turn on those arm muscles. Or if you have a hand weight at home, you can use them. Take a breath in as you breathe out, reach that arm forward like you're slicing through the air. Pull that arm in and then reach it, slice it forward. And then whole entire time, your leg is like totally hanging out in space. Super spicy and happy to be there. Exhale to reach forward. Inhale to pull it in. Exhale to slide and reach forward. Pull it in. Slide to reach. Squeezing through those muscles. Let's go for four. Pulling it in. Let's go for three. Squeeze the arm, punch it away for two. Draw it in. Last one, hold the arm. You're gonna take your leg, squeeze your leg up just a little bit, flex your foot and slide that long leg away. Point your toes and pull the right leg in, flex your foot and reach. So sometimes we do this where the knee comes all the way into the chest. We're not going that far today. You're just sort of hovering over that nice parallel line. We wanna keep that leg working at hip height if we can, and we wanna keep thinking about the support of our upper body push. I like to add a point to draw in and a flex to push away here because it's just adding a little bit of ankle articulation there for us. Draw it in, flex and push away. Let's go for five. And as you're flexing and pushing away, you're thinking about back of the leg here into that gluten hamstring. Push it away for three. Are you feeling your top bum cheek? I'm totally feeling my top bum cheek. Let's go for two. Flex and push. One more time. Draw it in. We're gonna flex and push. Hold the leg out. Your top arm is reaching. Your top waist is reaching. Your leg is hip height. We're gonna circle your arm for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, for six, for five, four, three, two. Other way, for 10. Nine, never stop with that leg reaching. Really circle through that arm for two. For one, you can reach the arm up or bring it back down. This top leg is gonna go up and back with the heel and then back to center long, up and back. And the extra fun part about this is your hips can't move. So it's right in your bum cheek here. Up and back, squeeze. Bring it in. Up and back, squeeze. Bring it in. We're going for five. We're going for four. My bum is going brrr. We're going for three. Two more, please. For two. One more time. We're gonna pulse that leg back. 10, nine, eight. Hips are stable. Seven, so fun. Six, are we loving this? Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Ooh. All right, let's turn ourselves ooh, 
onto our backs. Taking a second here, so because we've only worked one side of the body, we're going to make sure, or we're going to know, I should say rather, that uh, the body's going to be a little bit lopsided. So let's just give ourselves a little shake side to side. Cool, there's a nice little pop there. Okay, so feet are planted on the floor. Pubic bone and hip bones are nice and level. We can keep our hands down because we're going to keep this kind of nice to start. And then we're going to go back to that same glute side. So feeling your feet planted on the floor, hip bones and pubic bone are level. Take your breath in. As you breathe out, start to scoop through your low belly, then fire your glutes, lifting your hips up one vertebrae at a time. Taking a pause at the top to feel that nice long line through the torso. And then from your chest, can you start to come in on yourself as we massage that spine all the way to the floor, bone by bone by bone. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, we scoop and hollow. We push the feet away. We use the glutes to lengthen up and out through our chest, through our thighs. Taking an inhale here, then as we exhale again, scooping to roll ourselves all the way down. Feeling a little bit of awareness through those inner thighs, please. Two more. As we breathe out, keep pushing that floor away, firing through those glutes, massaging yourself up. Feel the feet push down into that floor. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, let's roll ourselves all the way down. Releasing to your neutral one more time. So we're trying to close the gate in the front of the body, then fire the glutes to lengthen ourselves up here. Hold it at the top, take your inhale, and then exhale, massage yourself all the way down. We're gonna roll back to that same side now. So we gave it a, a hot second. We're gonna come up, I'm on my left forearm. Now I've scooted my feet back so that my heels are squeezing together in more of a clamshell. Now checking in with this arm, let's do a few like beach vacation 2020 vibes. So if we were to like totally hang out here, can we see that that closes the space between my shoulder and my earlobe? We want to push the floor away so we're already opening and then hug the form in. So we're turning on whoo, some really important shoulder stabilizers. Let's do two more. Take a little break like you're chilling out and then push the floor away, hug it in. Notice that that's also gonna engage through your obliques. One more time, now being up like this, exhale, doesn't feel good on your head, neck, shoulders, you're always welcome to lie all the way down again. Top hand can come to your hip, can reach up to the ceiling, can come to the floor. You're gonna squeeze those heels together and then you're gonna open them up. Inhaling it down and then opening it up. So my heels have scooted back now. I'm not in that more 90-90. I'm in definitely more of a clam shape. And it's up to you if you want to point or flex the feet, but non-negotiable is a point of contact. So we wanna keep something squeezing together. I really like the heels. You might really like the toes. I prefer the heels. Um, Cause that's gonna immediately go all the way up our hamstring into our glute. That's the idea anyway. Keep checking in with that waist, with that shoulder. So this really is a full body effort, right? We have the heels squeezing to work up through those thighs into the glutes. My thighs are still on here. Yeah, they're definitely not taking a break. They're working as well. I'm keeping my pelvis nice and stable by using my deep low abs because my hips aren't rolling back. I'm keeping my spine really nice and long. Again, that's your transversus. And because we're on a diagonal, you have oblique happening here. We're pushing the floor away. We're hugging that arm in. We have an opening of the chest. We have shoulder and mid back supporting us here. So, so much work, right? And then your arm could be up or your arm could be down. If you want to add a layer, you're gonna lift those heels to hover and then open up from here. Exhaling to squeeze. And every time you open, we're trying to work a little bit harder. I'm gonna look down because that's a happier place for my neck right now. We're gonna go for five. Squeeze and open. We're going for four. We're going for three. Keep pushing that floor away. Keep drawing the forearm in. We're going for two. Last one, hold, dig those heels in, squeeze the bottom thigh down, lift those heels up if they're hovered, keep pushing the floor away, hug the arm in, we're going to pulse the top thigh back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring it down. And if you'd like to, you can slide those legs long. We're going to lift up into a plank. If you're happy to keep your knees down, you totally can or you can lengthen them out. 
No matter where you are though, that work of that bottom, keep going, shoulder stabilizer is important. We're pushing and hugging and then lifting up. So wherever you go, we wanna make sure woo, that we have that happening there. I read something recently that was in the GTA. We always skip the, a consonant and I know that I totally just did it. Important <laughs> instead of important. For three, for two, for one, bring it in. Give yourself a little shaky shake. Okay, we're gonna flip back onto our ba uh, back body. Back onto our backs. So we were here not that long ago. We're here again now. So if you'd like to, because we're a little bit warmer, but again, we've only really worked one back side of the body. We can bring those arms up, give them a nice squeeze. Feet planted on the floor, take your breath in. And again, as you breathe out, we're gonna scoop through that low belly. We're gonna push your floor away. We're gonna lift your hips up one vertebrae at a time. Now at the top here, can we make sure those hips are really, really nice and even? So you're always welcome to bring your hands to your hip bones and make sure that they're not sliding around all over the place, that they're really quite level. We're thinking about potentially extra scooping through that pelvis so our pubic bone is nice and high and the glutes are super on here, yeah? Arms can be up, they can be squeezing. <sighs> We're working already really hard to be here. We're gonna take a breath in and as we breathe out, can we push the left foot down into the floor a little bit extra and hug that left heel in. Release that foot and then push your right foot into the floor, hug your right heel in. Take a breath in as you breathe out, left foot to left floor, hug it in. And then right foot to the floor, hug the heel in. So really, really subtle, yeah? If you're watching me on the screen, it won't really look like I'm doing very much. But what we're in fact doing is we're just extra turning on. Sometimes I do this with a ball underneath the foot. I mean, you can't stand on two balls. That would be crazy business, um, unless maybe a stability ball. But we can still turn these muscles on by using the floor. The next time you press to the left side, hold that whole left foot down. Hug that left heel in. Think about the inner thigh line and then maybe roll up to your right toes. If you can keep your hips stable, maybe lift your right leg all the way up, but you have to keep the foundation. Lower the right foot, toe ball, heel to the floor, take a pause. Push the whole right foot into the floor, squeeze the right heel in towards you. Check in with the stability of your pelvis, your rib cage is drawing down, and then maybe your hands could also be on the floor. Roll up to your left toe, and then maybe your left leg can lift up to a tabletop. Take a pause, and then massage, toe ball, heel, that left foot to the floor. Taking your set, your a moment at center, Push your left foot into the floor, hug the left heel in. Maybe the right toes come up, maybe the right leg. Hold it for a hot second and then toe ball heel your way down. If your back is starting to bother you, you could always come down to a low hover so that your glutes are still not on the floor, but it's a little less work for your back stabilizers here and a little bit less work, um, less pressure on your psoas to come down. Rolling up, pushing the right foot down as our left leg lifts and then roll it to the floor. One more time, left foot to lift to the right. Rolling down through the right foot, press the right foot, lift up to the left. Pause, I'm gonna lift both of our heels, please. Keep hugging the heels in. We're gonna do like an awkward little butterfly opening. Now we're not gonna open all the way, all the way, all the way. We're gonna only open about halfway. Squeeze the heels in, push the floor away, fire through the glutes, draw the ribs in. We're gonna pulse those thighs open 10, but we're gonna keep it small. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, gently lower all the way down. If you need a little rock, a little massage side to side, please feel free. And then I'm gonna grab the back of a thigh. I'm gonna bring myself up so we can do that all again on the other side. So flip it over, however that makes sense to you and your body. Onto our right side, we're gonna lie all the way down. We start in a bit of a 90-90 here. So hip bones come out to knees, knees stack underneath ankles. Top hand to your top hip, we're going to push. I'm just gonna reorganize myself here. Push that top hip away, yeah? So we're not hanging out into the bottom side of the waist, mostly because if you look, it becomes a really shortened position for the upper part. And then we're strengthening our glutes in this awkward short position. We actually want it to be nice and long so that now my, pe my pelvis is level. So we're building strength from a really, really solid neutral foundation so that when you come to standing, you have a pelvis that's nice and level. 
taking a breath in, taking a breath out to feel the low abs sliding up, to feel the ribs drawing down, to think about widening across your belly button, your hip bones, and then as if there's a dinner plate around the whole top part of your thigh, you're gonna lift that leg up. And again, if I were to shoot my bottom leg out the way, I'm still pretty parallel. I lower down just to give a little kiss, and then I lift up. So it's different than this guy, right? Where we go into that full, big, um, it becomes more of an opening. <laughs> she says doing it. So we're gonna keep it nice and parallel bringing it down. It's sort of like a sandwich. Like if you were to lift up the top of a sandwich to see what's inside and then close that sandwich down. Feeling long through the top of the hip, connecting into that waist and then all those little housekeeping notes from our first side exist here as well. So we wanna keep opening through the back of the pelvis, showing off those tail feathers. We wanna keep collecting up through the bottom of the abs. We wanna keep drawing the ribs in, widening across that belly button and enjoying the sweet burn that hopefully starts sooner rather than later. Drawing down, lifting it up. Nice controlled movement in both directions here, yeah? So we're not sort of collapsing down to that bottom thigh, we're controlling a little more eccentric work here. We wanna work our muscles in multiple different directions under multiple different kinds of tension, yeah? That's also why we hold the leg because then that's a concentric contraction and Lord Almighty, does it get spicy. Or Goddess Almighty, wherever you want to be. All right, let's do three more here, please. For three. Whew. Let's go for two. One more time. We're going to lift up. We're going to hold it. Now that top arm is going to come squeezing right next to you. Hug your hand into a fist, and then we're going to slide that arm forward. Pull it in, slide it forward. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but my whole left leg is trembling. Punch the left arm forward. Pull the left arm in. Slide the left arm forward. Hug the left arm in. Keep connecting to that bottom waist. Keep connecting to that length through the top hip. That's what makes it extra spicy. We're going for two with that arm. Last one, hold the arm, the leg comes in a little bit, flex your foot, slide the left leg away, squeeze, point your toes, pull the leg in, dorsiflex, and then push away. Good. So we wanna make sure that the top leg is working at a hip height if we can, please. And super fun fact, even this toe pointed is actually a type of flexion, it's called plantar flexion, and then a flexed heel, like what you would think to be normally a flex foot, is dorsiflexion. So it's sort of funny how they're both flexion, but we only ever really refer to one of them as a flexed foot. Push away. Keeping those hips nice and stacked, really firing up through the boot here. Let's go for two. Keeping the arm nice and strong. One more time, pull it in. We're gonna flex, push that leg away, hold it at hip height. This arm is gonna circle. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, keep the leg up, hip height, two, one, go the other way, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can lift that arm up, you could bring it down. We're gonna take the top leg, that heel goes back and up in space, and then it goes parallel. It reaches back and up, and then parallel. Fire and squeeze, back and up. Parallel. So keeping those top hips really nice and stable here. Keeping the belly really nice and supported. We are shaking, 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 shaking. Over here. Up and back, squeeze. Two more. Let's do it right to the end. You've got it here, team. Last one. Let's go for little circles, or little pulses, sorry. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. A wee little massage. Oh, I don't know why I say it like that. It's obviously massage, but I must have had a friend somewhere along the line that said it like that, and, and it just stuck. It makes me giggle. Okay, flipping onto our backs. So now we've definitely worked both bum cheeks, so let's see how it feels to lift up into our bridge. You could reach your arms up nice and strong. You could bring your arms down underneath you. Take your inhale. 
Pressing all 10 toes into the floor, hugging the heels to your glutes, keeping your pelvis nice and neutral. Inhale here as you breathe out, scooping through the pelvis, push the floor away. Fire through those glutes as you lengthen up and out. Now we're not finding a back bend here, yeah? We're actually trying to draw and contain the ribs like you do in a plank. Guiding those thighs forward, hugging those heels in, take a breath in, and then exhale, massage your spine all the way back to the floor. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, scoop, find that moment where it's just your low abs that bring your back towards the floor, and then your glutes as you lengthen up and out. Take an inhale at the top here, and then again from your sternum, we're massaging ourselves all the way to the floor. Breathe it in. As we breathe out, hollowing, pushing, scooping, lifting. Take your inhale and then exhale it down. Nice job. Let's flip back to that same side. So we're gonna come up onto your right forearm. This is an option, right? You totally could still be lying down if this doesn't feel good on your head and neck shoulders. My legs are in a different arrangement this time. Instead of being more of a 90 degree angle, they're tucked back like a piece of a pie or um, like a, your traditional clamshell. Bottom arm here, so my right arm, is pushing the floor away, right? And this shoulder for me gives me a little bit of a hassle, so bear with me, I don't know if I'll be able to stay up. Um, but that's okay, that's movement, right? All of our bodies are different. So pushing the floor away, trying to open up through that shoulder and then hugging that arm in, right? We wanna make sure that we're working our whole entire body, nothing gets just left hanging out. And as you do that, you might notice your bottom obliques are like, oh, hello, because they're supporting your body weight as well. Your top arm can lift up, can come to your hip, can come to the floor, it's totally up to you. Whew. We're gonna squeeze those heels together and then we're gonna open it up. Draw down and then open it up. So much work through this arm and then down. Now your choice, if you would like to squeeze your heels, if you would like to squeeze your toes, I really don't mind either way. But if we can, making sure that something is connected, it's a closed chain that we're working here, not an open chain. Closed chain being that there's a point of contact all along the way here. I'm gonna come down onto my right arm for this side because I just can't keep that right shoulder opening. And then breathe it out. You know, it's funny because I teach so much physical practice right now, like I am physically practicing as well. And how I got into teaching, if you weren't aware of how I got into teaching, was that um, I had been a dancer my whole life and, and an athlete. Um, and then I was in a really bad accident where my whole body was pretty, pretty banged up. I started Pilates in conjunction with physio. And when I started Pilates, my leg was still in a cast. So that was like a bit of a figuring out situation. <laughs> but I still did it. Um, and then over time I kept teaching or I kept practicing. I noticed how much Pilates was supporting my physio goals um, and then eventually became a teacher. If you're feeling extra spicy, let's lift those heels up and let's open that thigh. So my initial Pilates practice when I came into it seriously, like in this time of my life, was not something that was super, um, intense in that it was like really physical, physical, physical. It was intense in that I had a lot of injuries and I needed to figure out how to rearrange my body with them. And that's still the case now, right? And so it's just, it's just funny <laughs> being in this space of like, woohoo, let's do Pilates. But really for me, my practice is still maintaining um, healthy habits in my movement. One more time, let's butterfly it up, squeeze those heels, they pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, we got it, three stack tips, two, last one, bring it down, Woo. give it a little zhuzh, and then plank of your choice, so we can go forearms, you could even go hands if you'd like to, you can keep your knees down, lift them up, but three, two, one, let's lift it, and again, we're trying to work on that stability of the bottom arm and the bottom obliques, above all else right now. So if you lift your thighs up off of the floor and we lose the stability of the shoulder, then we've sort of lost the point. Keeping those hips stacked wherever you are though, your glutes, your thighs are on. Let's be here for five, for four, for three, for two, 
for one, bring it down. Nice job, let's flip back onto our backs. I know, we're totally not done yet. I'm just gonna spin myself around on my mat. Okay, so remember that super fun march we did? We're gonna add a little bit of spice factor to it. So arms can be up or arms can be down. Feeling those feet planted, hip bones, pubic bone are level. Take your breath in, and as we practice, we're gonna scoop through that belly, push the floor away, fire your glutes to lift your hips up. Now really find a nice foundation here. So feeling those feet connect really rooted down into the floor. Hug the heels in, supercharge up through the backs of your legs. Feeling the middle of the thigh reaching forward. Connect into your abs. So nothing is not working here, yeah? Except the back of your head and neck. Those are really chill. Now arms could be up or down, it's up to you. Can you really root down through the left foot, roll up to the right toe and then pause. Make sure your hips are still level, and if they are and it feels reasonable, lift that right leg to a tabletop. We're gonna keep this configuration. You're gonna stick your bum out lower halfway to the floor, and then use the push of the left leg to lift yourself back up for five. I'm gonna put my right toes down, squeeze and lift up for four, but your right leg could totally be table. It could also be straight if you'd like, three. But the rule here is that your hips have to be level wherever you are, two, one more time, lift it up, hold here for five, four, three, two, one, pull the right leg in, pop the right foot on the floor, hug the right heel down, flip over, roll your left toes up, maybe your left leg lifts to table, maybe it's up, maybe your arms are up too, I'm going to bring my left toes down, keep my hands on the floor, hip bones are level, lower just about halfway, then keep pushing the floor away with the left side, right side sorry, as you lift up. Lower down, but both sides of your bum here are working because we're still keeping our pelvis really, really nice and stable. Let's go for three. Lift up and hug, keeping all of your foundation here of your feet pressing to the floor, of your heels hugging in. Last one, lift it up and then lower down. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, both of your heels hover. Start to scoot those heels in until they squeeze. We're gonna butterfly pulse those thighs out. 10, nine, eight, seven. If your arms are up there squeezing, five. Keep it nice and small. For three, for two, last one. Bring them in and roll your way down. Nice job, give yourself a little, a little rock side to side. And then we're gonna plant those feet. So we're going to revisit the march we did at the very beginning, um, but we're gonna add a layer to it. So feeling now, again, your hip bones and pubic bone level. I don't know if you saw that, but I like to sit so that my right hip is higher than my left because that's where my injuries are. So I have to work really hard to, to keep them level. We're gonna keep our pubic bone on the same plane, which means there's a little bit of a ladybug house at your low back. Please don't slide your hand underneath your back because you're gonna move out of the way. So taking a second to come back to our Pilates breath here, inhaling through the nose into the backs and sides of the ribs, exhaling out through our mouth. Now step one is gonna be to keep our pelvis nice and level. So inhaling here, and then as we breathe out, rolling up to our left toes, maybe lift that left toe up to a table. Gently lower the left foot down, breathing in. And as you breathe out, that right leg lifts up. Now again, this doesn't look like very much, but what we're trying to do is just establish our home base. Lower the left foot down. And then exhale, right leg lifts. Right leg lowers down. And then left leg lifts. Left foot lowers, right leg lifts. So as you're going side to side, again, just making sure that nothing is finicky, nothing is moving here other than to stay completely level. One more time, we're gonna take your breath in. As you breathe out, can you hollow that low back towards the floor? Inhale to let it release back to neutral. And then as if you had little suspenders from your hip bone to your rib cage, you're gonna close the gates. You're gonna draw them down and back towards each other. Inhale to release. Exhale, close those gates. Inhale, little release. Exhale to close. One more time. Inhale, little release. 
Exhale to close those gates, drawing everything in towards the belly button. And then last little bit, let's make sure we're not pushing through our belly. We want our belly to draw down and in and open wide and flat. Okay, we're gonna go back to those marches. So keep scooping, can you lift your left leg up to a tabletop? Keep your left leg where it is as you breathe out, can you keep scooping, bring your right leg up to a tabletop? Nice job here. You're gonna take your hands, interlace your fingers behind your head. Now keep scooping, take your breath in. As you breathe out, keep scooping as you curl up and look between those thighs. Inhale as you lengthen back, keep that low belly hollow to the floor. And then exhale, curl in. So we're not curling up flat, we're curling like a big ice cream scoop. Inhale to lengthen back, exhale, curl. Inhale, back. Thinking about that space right below the belly button, right? Sometimes I like to poke it there to make sure it's not popping up, that it's actually trying to flatten away. Inhale, back, exhale, curl. And if this is feeling good, you're gonna go for a reverse march, so your left toes are gonna push into the floor as you curl up. Inhale, bring it up and back. As you breathe out, right toes push into the floor as you curl, but remember your hip bones aren't allowed to change. Inhale, up and back, exhale, Curl and press. Inhale, let those rib cages still draw down. And then as you curl, you're building more. So it never stagnates. It never just is the same. We constantly want to find a little bit more awareness, a little bit more connection, a little bit more work. Exhale it up. Inhale back. Exhale up and curl. One more to each side. One more time. Keep your legs lifted. Curl yourself up. Let's do 10 pulses at center. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down and in. Give yourself a little break. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. Okay, so we're gonna add these bits and pieces together. Starting in your neutral, so hip bones, pubic bone level, feet planted on the floor. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head right out of the gate. Take your inhale now, firing up through that low belly. As you breathe out, scoop your low back towards the floor. This is without glutes, right? This is all deep, deep low abs here. Pelvic floor draws up as you breathe out, widen across that belly, rib cage draws down. Take your inhale as you exhale. Can you draw your left leg in as you curl your upper body up to meet it? Inhale to lower down and back. Exhale, curl up and meet the leg. Now what I want us to pay attention to, please, as we're doing this, is that the pelvis is not rocking side to side. It might feel tempting to really squeeze yourself in, but we're not doing that either. Not today anyway. Sometimes we do, just not today. I want us to really find that pelvic stability. And then your limbs and your upper body are moving on top of that stability. Let's go. That's two. One more to each side, please. One more time. Okay, inhale back, exhale, left leg lifts. Keep the left leg as you lengthen your torso. Exhale, bring the right leg up so you're back in a tabletop. Now, if this doesn't feel fabulous, you're gonna lower your right foot or right toes to the floor. You're gonna inhale to take your upper body back, and as you exhale, curl up and over to the left. Inhale up and back, exhale up and over to the left. Now, if that does feel fabulous and your right leg is lifted, your right leg is gonna shoot away from you. Inhale to pull it in and back, exhale to shoot away. We're going for five. Now as we do this, we're crisscrossing up and over to the outside of our knees, outside of our left knee. For three, zipping up through that quad as we work, fold it up and over, two. Last one, we're gonna hold, we're gonna pulse here, 10, nine. Maybe your right leg is in, maybe toes are on the floor. For three, for two, last one, pull the right leg in and back, inhale. Exhale up and over to the left. So you can stay table, your toes or your foot could come to the floor. Inhale back in space, keep scooping that belly. Exhale, fold it up towards the outside of the right knee. Inhale back, exhale up and over outside right knee. Inhale up and back. Now remember your pelvis has to stay level here. 
So the flexion isn't just coming from the front of the body, it's coming from the stability across the hip bones, and then you're moving from behind the left armpit. Inhale back through center, exhale up and over. We're going for five. Your leg could be moving here if you want to. I'm gonna keep it in on this side. Been over for three, for two, fold it up. One more time, here we go, all together. Your leg could be long, we're gonna pulse it out. 10, nine, eight, scoop it, seven, scoop it, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Take a nice big breath in through the nose here. Exhale it out. Let's take a little twist so those legs can go over to the right side. You can open your left arm out if you'd like to. Left arm can come up overhead. Breathing it in. And breathing out. And then legs come up through center. Let's take a twist the other way. So legs fall to the left, arm opens out to the right. Maybe reach the right arm up overhead. Can you hear the birds? They're like tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> And then keep your legs where they are. Roll your body over to meet them. And we're going to lie onto our bellies. Whew. So just a final little bit of ab work here. So sometimes when we do a forearm plank here together, um, or most of the time I should say, I get us or I cue us to lift in a very neutral way. So if we were to walk through it together, we could start really like chill beach vacation vibes. Toenails are pressed into the floor. My forearms are connected from my elbow to the middle of my, my hand, right? They're all pushing, all my fingers are pushing down. You're gonna take a breath in, and then as you breathe out, we push the floor away. We think wide across the collarbones, we draw the ribs in, and then we lift our hips up, so we're in one long line. So we can hold that plank together for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and then we can bring it down. This time today, I want you to imagine like you have little puppet strings at your low back. And so instead of staying flat and round, we're gonna try to scoop in and dome ourselves, but not from our upper body, from our lower body. Super deep low ab, it's a bit tricky, so don't worry, we're gonna do it a few times. Take your breath in, lazy beach vacation, and then as you exhale, let's start the same. Let's push the floor away, Feel like those forearms are drawing wide and then hug your elbows in. Glutes are definitely on here. And then as you breathe out, can you feel like you're tucking your bum underneath you and you're trying to hollow it? And can you look at your belly button and hollow it more and hollow it more and scoop it more? For five, for four, for three, scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. Two, low belly scoops, low belly scoops. One, bring it down. Doesn't maybe seem like much to look at, but holy moly, lots happening there, yeah? Take a breath in, take a breath out, be nice and lazy beach vacation vibe. And then when you're ready, as you breathe out, let's push the floor away, draw the arms wide, hug the elbows down and in. Firing through those glutes, lengthening through your spine, and then as you breathe out, scoop, tuck, roll, and lift, and hollow, and hollow, 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 and around, and around, and around. Can you look at your belly button and the space between your pubic button and say, hey, pubic button, pubic bone, and say round more for five, round more four, Round more, three, glutes are on here. Two, one, bring it all the way down. Let's do one more time for luck, yeah? Push that floor away, wide through the collarbones, hug the elbows in, glutes are on, and then we round, we scoop, we hollow, and we lift. Scoop and hollow, scoop and hollow for five. Scoop and hollow four. Scoop and hollow three. Scoop and hollow two. Last one, bring it down. If you'd like to let one cheek find the mat, you can. If you'd like to push yourself up and back into a child's pose, feel free. Taking a breath in, exhaling it out. Walking our lovely selves all the way back down so that we are lying back on our bellies. So we're gonna keep our feet pressed down. Toenails are pressing down into the floor here. We're gonna interlace our fingers, palms facing down, 
and then forehead finds your fingertips. Now, can you really connect your toenails down? Fire up through your legs and notice that your hip bones might want to be more connected to the floor. Can we work what we just worked with that scoop of the pelvis and go the other way so that it's more towards our pubic bone? So we're using what we just learned. Drawing your head down, can you feel like you're giving your hands a little bit of a tug so that you notice if your shoulder blades squeeze up? Let's bring our shoulder blades onto our back, using belly to support us here. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, draw the rib cage in, fire through those glutes, and you're gonna lift up, just do a little baby hover. So just so that my upper body, my upper thoracic, starts to get a little bit of work going. Inhale here and then exhale it down. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, shoulder blades on your back, ribs draw in. Take your inhale, growing nice and long here, and then exhaling to lower down. A few more, inhale, exhale. Knowing that I'm not pushing my rib cage down, I'm drawing my rib cage in, lengthening out. Take your breath and then lower it down. Two more times, breathe in, breathe out to lengthen out and up. Freeling across the low shoulder blades here, yeah? Or in between your shoulder blades. One more time, lengthen out and up and then pause here. We're gonna take those arms and bring them down towards our hips. Can we turn those arms into fists and squeeze our arms nice and strong? So it's like we're shooting through the air here. We're gonna open those arms out into the shape of a T, your palms face down. Then rotate them so your palms face back and squeeze your hands to your hips. Open the arms, palms rotate down into the shape of a T. Rotate them so palms face away, squeeze it in. Remember your legs and your thighs are still super active here. You're reaching one long line from head to tail. Ribs and belly are drawn in, out and away. Squeeze through those arms, pull the fists in. Two more, reach it out. Flip, squeeze them in. One more time, out and away. Flip, squeeze them in. Bring the arms all the way around. Fingertips find your forehead just the way you started and then lower down, take a little break. Let one cheek touch the mat maybe. Take a few breaths to just enjoy being on the ground. Now we're gonna keep our palms facing down and we're gonna keep our head down. This time we're gonna lift through the back of the body or through the back of the legs, I should say. So keep your head down, keep firing that scoop that we practiced. Your feet are pressing down for now, but they're gonna move in a second. So now we want the foundation to be the upper body. We're gonna, without wiggling through our pelvis, lift your right leg just to hover a little bit out and away. Take a breath in and then gently lower it down. Left leg reaches out and away to hover it up. Stay there, breathe it in, and then gently lower it down. We're gonna keep going side to side, so a nice little movement here. To start to fire up how we're gonna stabilize our back as we move our legs. So super important that we are still working the whole body, right? So. If you know that your low back tends to get fiery, keep the legs a little bit lower. But we're learning to stabilize the pelvis, right? And stabilizing the pelvis and strengthening the muscles around the pelvis are going to help with all of that. Lift up. Good, now your head is gonna be all the way down. I'm just keeping my head up so you can hear me. One more time, we're gonna lift up to the right. Hold the right leg and then lift up with the left leg. You can maybe squeeze the legs together or maybe reach them out and away, and you're gonna hold them out and up for 10, nine, eight. Make sure you don't collapse to your hip bones. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring them down, take a little break. Okay, we're gonna add these things together. So start with your feet connected down. Start with all those muscles super fired up, yeah? Quads, toenails are pressing down, belly is stable, we're looking to the floor. Take your breath in as you breathe out, shoulder blades connect onto your back, lengthen your upper body out and up. We're gonna take those arms, bring them down to our hips and squeeze them nice and strong. Inhale, the arms reach out. Maybe this time they come all the way up overhead like you're doing the YMCA. 
rotate them and squeeze your palms down. Your toes are on the floor. Open the arms up, palms rotate to the floor, up overhead. Maybe they turn to look at each other at the top and then they rotate and squeeze down. <sighs> Open out to the side, palms face down. Maybe they start to fully rotate to face in towards each other. Flip them and push them away. <sighs> palms face the floor as the teeth then they rotate to face each other. They internally spiral to push away. <sighs> We're going for five. You could always have little hand weights here if you wanted, but I really wouldn't go beyond like three pounds. Let's go for four because any heavier than that and you start to turn on other muscles. Let's go for three. Now as you're moving here, your shoulder blade is supposed to move. So let it, yeah? Like you're showing your armpits off to the floor. Squeeze it in. One more time. Up and open. Down and through. Hold those arms nice and strong beside you. Can you lengthen your right leg out and off the floor without tilting to your hip bones? Can you lift your left leg up and off the floor? Shoot through the air for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and in. Give yourself a big breath in and a breath out. Little rest here with the cheek. We have one more version of this. So if keeping your legs up in space felt really fabulous um, in that you could feel muscles working you were able to keep all the housekeeping, right? Like staying off of our hip bones. There isn't anything wrong with going to your hip bones. Um, it's just for what we're trying, it's for what the purpose of what we're trying to target today. I want us to stay towards pubic bone. We're gonna fire up into a little bit of triceps, do a quick little push up dynamic experience, and then we're done. So know that you're approaching the end. Can we find a little bit of fuel left in the tank? We're gonna start with our hands down beside our hips this time. Looking down at the floor, glue those toenails. As you breathe in and out, find all those housekeeping notes, yeah? Toes pressing, glutes and quads are on, connecting towards pubic bone. Roll shoulder blades onto our back, lengthen out through those arms and hover your torso into that little baby hover. And then if it feels reasonable, maybe float your right leg, maybe float your left leg. We're gonna inhale, micro bend those elbows and then exhale, squeeze into the triceps. Inhale, little baby bend and then exhale, reach and squeeze. <sighs> Inhale, little baby bend. Exhale, reach and squeeze. Inhale, little bend. Exhale, squeeze. <sighs> Inhale, little bend. Exhale, squeeze. <sighs> so every time we work here, we're working <laughs> through the whole back line of the body. We're firing through those glutes, hamstrings, quads. We're making sure that we're not resting on our hip bones or our rib cage. It's like we're being pulled nice and long here. Let's go for three. Little bend of the elbows. Exhale, reach and squeeze, two. One more time, reach them, pulse those arms up, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. <sighs> if you're happy with one cheek on the mat, feel free to stay there. If you'd like to push yourself up and back to a shell stretch, feel free. Taking a breath in, taking a breath out. And then bringing ourselves all the way up. Okay, so last little bit of business. A nice dynamic push up for us. So your fingertips are gonna spiral in just a little bit um, so that we can get a little bit of work going through here. You're gonna be pushing forward and then bouncing back. So. If you're happy on hands and knees, if that feels like a better place for your body, let me scoot this way. We're gonna bend down and then push back. Come forward and down and then push back. If it feels better for you to be kneeling in a kneeling plank, you're gonna push down and then crouch it back. Squeeze your glutes, bring it forward, down and then push it back. If you're feeling a super strong engine here in a full plank, you push and then you're gonna bend and pounce. So pick where you want to be. I'm gonna stick with knees underneath hips today, hands ever so slightly spiraled in. We're gonna inhale to lower, push away, slide back. So wherever you are, bend and draw collarbones wide, push the floor away, lift, take your torso back. We're gonna come forward, bend, Push, sit back, bring it forward, bend, 
push, sit back. We're going for seven. Bend, push, and back. We're going for six. Bend, push, and back. We're going for five. Use your breath. We're going for four. Bend, push, take it back. We're going for three. You've got it. It's happening. We're so close. For two, wherever you are, can you figure out this last one? And back and push and up. We're going forward and bend and push and then spin those arms back. I'm gonna take a quadruped knee hover. You're welcome to find any plank of your choice here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. Send your tail back to your heels. Take a breath in here. Take a breath out. We're gonna walk ourselves all the way up and then flip back onto our backs. Ooh, sort of collapse to the floor there. <laughs> We're gonna take our right leg, reach our right leg up, give your right leg a little shaky shake. Shake out through that ankle, through the quad, through the leg. And then let's take that right ankle and cross it over the left knee. And if you want to draw into quadruped, wide or quadruped, oh my gosh, figure four you can. But I'm gonna go for a little tip. I like this because it allows me to find a little bit more of a range um, in where I'm feeling this stretch versus having to like, I'm really tight today, so if I were to draw my thighs in, I would be in a really, really crampy position through my torso. So this is gonna give me a little more range. I am flexing through my feet and I'm hugging my ankle, my um, like bottom of my shin against my supporting knee to see if it gives me a little bit more opportunity to open. And then one more time here, tilting over to the left. I'm gonna let this shape fully find the floor. I'm gonna grab my ankle with my left hand and then just open it a little bit more with a little bit more resistance. Whoa, Nelly. Breathing in, breathing out. And gently guiding that leg back up. Unravel, give it a little shake one more time and then plant that foot on the floor. Let's reach our left leg up to table or up to the ceiling. Give it a little shaky, 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 shake. Just to sort of be like, hi leg, I see you. And then let's cross that left ankle over the right knee, flexing out through both of our feet and then going for a little teeter-totter ride over. And then back, little teeter-totter. sort of using the weight of gravity with the resistance of the ankle and the knee. Or it's not even on my knee, it's on my thigh really. One more time, take it all the way over and then maybe grab a hold of your ankle with your right hand, still pressing ankle and thigh or even into your hand a little bit more towards each other so you can potentially open up through that thigh a bit more. Breathing in and out. And then guide that shape back to center. Give that leg a little shaky shake. Knees can come into chest. We can give them a circle, maybe a little rock side to side. And then when you're ready, rock all the way over to one side. Let's meet up in seated. Whew. A little shake, a little massage through the legs. So finishing how we started, if you'd like to slide something underneath your bum to lift your hips up, please feel free. We're just gonna inhale that right arm up. And then let's take a side bend over to the left. Taking a nice big breath in here and then bringing yourself all the way up. Let's go the other way. Left arm comes up in space, side bend over to the right. Breathing it in, coming all the way up. Last time, inhale, nice big stretch overhead. Come down, give yourself a squeeze. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today, allowing me to guide your practice. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day wherever you are in the world, um, and I will see you next time.